Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, I appreciate it. I hope everyone is doing well. I am taping this Friday evening to come out as a premiere on Saturday. And a premiere means that I am live in the comments. So I am interacting with all of you in real time, which I think is exciting because we don't always get to do that. Even when I'm live, I don't get a chance to really talk to you uh, because I'm over here doing my thing. So if you haven't already, please like this video. It helps my algorithm so other people see it. Leave me a comment, say hi, let me know how you're doing. Um, hit the subscribe button and, ch and check out membership. I have a lot going on with membership so and a lot more to come in the new year. So lots to go um, with that and to talk about that as we go further on. So I asked all of you to give me your questions. And obviously, I can't do all of them. I think there's a few hundred. There's more that I could answer. So I'm going to break this into two videos. So this will be part one. And then in a few days, I'll release part two, okay? To try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. And as all of you know, I'm going to Cancun with Michael for his birthday and Thanksgiving. We're leaving on Monday, coming back on Saturday. And a lot of you were a bit worried about Annie. And so my cat, Annie, along with Maggie, um, our other cat, stays with my brother, right? Because my brother is here with me anyways. And so he does her medication. I FaceTime her. And he's actually going to sleep in the living room so he can be with both cats. So because we have a lot of cat drama, there's a lot of um, separation anxiety issues. And because both girls have lost their original owners um, and Annie a few times over. So without further ado, oh, before I forget, I was going to say without further ado, let's get into the questions. But before I forget, we're going to do a three card pull at the end using um, Radley Valentine's Angel Answers. And it'll be if you have a yes, no type question. Okay. All right. So first question, love this name, Sweetie Darling Lulu. Um, she said, people are concerned that the MAGA GOP in Congress will disrupt, investigate and stall legislation. I think that's a legit concern, isn't it? Do I see more moderate um, Republicans prevailing? I think there's going to be a battle. I don't think that's a yes, no answer that, yep, that's what's going to happen or nope, it's just going to be all the MAGA red hats. No, I think it's going to actually be something in between, but let's see what the cards have to say, okay? But honestly, I don't think it's going to be as bad as people are thinking, okay? We're heading towards fourth density, fifth dimension. We're going in the right direction. We're going to have challenges, right? The Rod talk about that all the time. If For those of you who are members and you watch the channelings or you follow the law of one and all that, you know we're going to have challenges as we go along. That's how we learn and grow. And it gets us ready to level up, to ascend. So we need some of this to happen, unfortunately. But... Let's see, Spirit, what do we need to know about this? So there's going to be a tower moment, sweetie, darling Lulu, um, where things come to a real head um, with Congress, with things going back and forth. So it's sort of like, yeah, okay, we're going to be in for a tough time. But that's kind of what I just said, right? Like, sometimes things have to get worse before they get better. But like I keep saying to all of you, when it gets better, it's going to get so much better. The obstacle is, um, you know, this is the only card that only has children, right? So the obstacle is about normalcy. This is a card about normalcy. Returning to, well, what's right and wrong? What's normal? Um, not necessarily traditional, uh, unless you mean in the sense that it's, more correct, if that makes sense. So that is where we're sort of at, where we're at like this crossroads. But we're going to be hearing good things. You know, he, here's Page of Wands, right? Page of Wands is all about, you know, getting messages, but also plotting, planning, coming up with strategies, all of that. And then the death card. The death card is about transition, transformation. The reason why there's five petals is because in numerology, five represents uh, change, right? 
And so there's a lot of changes coming. They're not all bad. You know, I, I have a, um, a psychic friend who says he loves it when he gets the tower card in his own personal readings, because it means that things are being cleared away for something better. Sometimes you need things to fall apart to let the new in. To me, this is like a purging that's going to happen. And even though it's not going to be easy, we'll get through it. And, you know, I think we're stronger and more resilient than what we know. But let's keep our chins up. I think things are going to get better. Okay. Sharon asks, will congressional indictments and convictions lead to the House majority flipping? And a lot of you guys asked this. Is the House going to flip from Republican to Democrat? I'm not seeing anytime soon. Okay, so psychically, I'm getting not today or tomorrow. Um, these indictments are taking a long time, right? So do I see it just like flipping on a dime? <sighs> Let's see what the cards say. Let me read this. Because let me look at the next question. Because the next question is similar, but I decided to do both to do it from two different angles. I'm going to read this one from the point of view of the Democrats, okay? This one will be read from the point of view of the Democrats. So how will the Democrats be dealing with these indictments and convictions? Will, it, will they be benefiting with the House flipping, the majority flipping, that is? So focusing on the Democrats... Interesting. Here's our friend again, the Page of Wands. Hmm, hasn't been quite determined yet. So it's in the thought process. And that tells me too that um, this is not something that is set in stone. The obstacle is for the Democrats, there's those, and we know who they are, um, in the GOP that's working hard against them, right? This is the card of working hard and diligently, meticulously. And so there are those that are working hard against them to prevent it. So it's a bit of an uphill battle. But look, the Democrats go to smoother waters. They go to smoother waters. Things do get better. So interesting, interesting, six of pentacles. And then there becomes this balance, right? Literally, there's a scale, there's balance, okay? So balance is coming. But for those of you who want it to happen yesterday, I know, I get it. It's not going to. Okay? So hang in there. We'll make it through it. Okay? I do want to mention, um, I did work with my new YouTube agent yesterday. And I met him for the first time. And so that was really exciting. I will be doing a new video. He had a lot of different and new ideas for me. Um, and also, too, if anyone's thinking about membership... Uh, next month, it's going to be how to learn tarot. I'm going to do a live two hour seminar to introduce you to tarot reading, how you do it. And then if you want more information, then you go to the tarot playlist and you can go in depth into all of it. But for those of you who just want to take a two hour class and just get running, this will be for you in December. Okay. Now, right before I started filming this, uh, this popped up on my phone. So Attorney General Merrick Garland has appointed a special counsel for 45 criminal probes. Um, he has a special prosecutor to oversee 45 criminal matters. And this has to do with 45 retaining sensitive documents at Mar-a-Lago. So we need to look at that. I do not think that's going to go well for 45 I think right now, if I go into his energy, I have a hard time breathing. I'm actually a little bit concerned about um, if he was to do any like stimulant, like say if he started to like chug a lot of caffeine or something, I would be really concerned because the heart rate feels high. The blood pressure feels high. Like he is stressed. So there is even more to this than what we even know he doesn't want this to happen. Okay. 
So I'm going to read this from 45's point of view, not Merrick Garland's, because we know what Merrick Garland's point of view is anyways. I mean, he's an attorney general. He wants justice and he's going to barrel through and do it. So that's what he does. Even though I know some people want him to be louder and um, more public, it doesn't work that way, I don't think. I think he's getting the job done. So from 45's perspective, how does he feel about this new special prosecutor coming in to look at these sensitive documents that he hid away at Mar-a-Lago? Mm. So 45 knows that this is like the end of an era. This is like the end of an era for him. This is a transition, a transformation, a change that he does not want. He had it pretty good and he had it pretty good for a long time, didn't he? He was getting away with a lot of stuff. Those days are over. So he feels like, oh, this is like the beginning of the end for me. And look at the obstacle. He comes back again. We can't get rid of him tonight. The page of wands. So pages deliver news. And wands are passionate, fiery, enthusiastic, right? Exciting. So this news that 45 received is doing just what I said. It's like, it's overstimulating him. It's over exciting him, not in a good way. It's too much. Um, this is not news that he wanted. And then I get one of my cards for the U.S. You know, here she is, the Empress. But she also has to do with fertility, and so the seeds that he has planted, 45 has planted, are now coming into fruition. Okay, that's why you see all that wheat, right? So it's, he's reaping his harvest. He doesn't like his bounty. It's too late. What's done is done. And this is going to have consequences. Now, I'm going to go out one more card because I can see it. So I'm pulling it because I think it's going to give us an interesting um, tidbit about timing. So here's the judgment card. Yep. This is going to court during the Biden administration because here's my card for Biden. So for those of you wondering about timing and all of this, there you have it. Okay. So next question is by Kelly. And she wants to know, will some Republican House members be indicted for participating in January 6th, taking away the majority? So very similar to Sharon's question, but I put it in there because now we're going to flip it around and read it from the Republicans' point of view, okay? So are the Republicans going to lose their majority because of the Jan 6th investigation? And like I said, it's not going to happen today or tomorrow. We know that, right? We all know that. All right, what's that saying? The wheels of justice spin slowly? Well, I think that's true. And please, in the comments, put down what you think and how you feel how this is all going to go. Let me know, you know, some of your thoughts and feelings this weekend. Okay, so the Republicans are feeling... Oh, look at this guy. He's bandaged. He's holding on to one stick. They're trying to persevere through these Jan 6 indictments. They're trying to hold on. And it's not working out so great. Why? Because of deals that they made, right? Two of Cups is about contracts, deals, the way we work with others. And they didn't work with upstanding citizens, did they? So this is going to come back to bite them. Um, this is interesting. They get a card of loss. Now, this is the card of obviously total loss, right? You know, five of pentacles is the card of losing your job, your money, finances, career, your health, your home, you name it. It's a card of complete loss. Look at these destitute characters. Now, if you're wondering about timing... I go out one more, and this has always been my card for um, for both actually Nancy Pelosi and Kamala Harris. So when we're looking at timing, I'm going to say it's going to happen during the Biden administration, right? Because here's Kamala Harris. 
Uh, that's how I would read it because, you know, tarot cards only have the meanings that we give them. They have general meanings, right? And that's what most of us teach others. But then as you keep reading, you learn like, okay, well, every time I read on either Nancy Pelosi or Kamala Harris, this is what comes up, right? And so this to me is a timing issue, okay? So it's it's a coming. Great question by Christina. Oh, and by the way, EPS, I saw that you asked a very similar question. So I hope that that answers it. But I saw lots of you asked very similar um, questions to that. So that also tells me what's on everybody's mind. And that's why I like you guys to leave me comments and to talk to me because I'm not going to make videos to sit here and talk to myself. I already do readings for myself. So I want to know what you want to know so I can tailor it for you. Okay. Uh, Christina asks a great question. Will politicians ever get rid of gerrymandering? If so, when? Here's my answer. Yes, it's going. It's not going to last forever. Why? It's not part of fourth density. It's not living in one and in unison with others. It, it causes division. It rips us apart. And we're moving slowly away from that. Okay? Now, one of the things I've mentioned to you before that, you know, the think tanks that I've always done with the government since I was 14 is looking 20 years out, right? That's actually my specialty is looking 20 years out. And I can tell you 20 years out, it's going to be so different, but the changes will start now. So I know you don't want to wait 20 years. I know nobody wants to hear that, but now it's going to start getting better a little bit at a time. Okay, so let's um, pull some cards for Christina. And I know she's not the only one that has this question. Okay. And for all of you that give me donations, thank you so much. I mean, I have bought so much new equipment and, um, you know, fancy tripods, things that make the sound quality and the lighting better. And, you know, just thank you. You guys have really been so supportive right from the beginning and so much gratitude for all of you. I had a card jump out there, so I'm going to leave this one out for a second. Um, okay, th this is what I said. Hanged man. So the hanged man is about things being stalled. Uh, nothing's really happening. But of course it could, right? His leg's free. He can let go whenever he wants. But right now we're sort of like at that eh, stage, like, okay, uh, things are going back and forth. Yeah, so they're still gerrymandering, right? Um, it's a lot of garbage that we're dealing with. The obstacle, look at this it's happening slowly, right? I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is great because he's, you know, he's predictable, he's reliable, he's grounded and down to earth. He's, he's you know, um, if you got this like in a love life reading, you know, this is a good guy to have around. But when you're looking at when is something going to end, unless you want it to end a long time from now, it's going to be a while. But then look, the whole world is going to change. We're in for drastic changes and they're for the better. And the card that fell out is the card of celebration and joy. So it's going to go away. It is going to get better, but we have to push through these next few years. But I do feel though, for those of you who got like discouraged when I said 20 years, you're like, ah. um, I think 2024 things start to get better. Okay. I think 2024 is a huge turning point for us. I think 2023 is going to be like a great purge where for like in our personal lives, we get rid of those people who are toxic. We get rid of those situations that are toxic, that don't serve our highest good. And we start to become more of who we are. So I look at 2023 as like kind of like a great purging. 2022, it started already. And then 2024, we start to reap some of that benefit of having a, a world with higher vibes, okay? Rabia asks, is 2023 going to be the law and order year of accountability? Yes, I do believe so. Yes. So I know it took a long time for us to get to this point. There was a lot of T's that had to be crossed, I's that had to be dotted, that sort of thing. And it's because we're dealing with some slippery people, right? So you can't give them a chance to slip away. So, you know, the, the prosecutors had to be extra, extra cautious. But I would say, yes, 
yes, where that's where we start to actually start seeing some um, changes uh, for the better. We start to see the benefit of everything that we've just gone through, the heartache, the stress, all of that. It starts to get better. Yeah, here we are, you know, sort of, you know, I love the Fool card. He's actually the very first card in the deck. He's the one that starts us off on the whole tarot journey. And he is full of hope and faith and trust. He believes in the universe. He, he trusts in creator and his guides and the angels and that sort of thing. And so that's how we go into 2023 is, you know what, we've been through a lot but we haven't lost our faith. We haven't stopped trusting. We still have hope. We haven't lost anything. The obstacle is that it took a long time to get there. It took a long time. And so eight of wands is about, you know, two things. One, speed. It's probably the fastest or or at least one of the fastest cards in the deck. And it's in the obstacle position. Some of you ask why I don't do reverse cards because my second card's always the obstacle. And so... Yeah, we wanted it to happen faster, but then look at this. Here we are, you know, the happy smug merchants. We're content. Things start to get better and a return to norm normalcy. Things start to go back to how they should be, right? A new normal, a normal that we haven't had for a very long time. So keep your chins up, everybody. Last question before we do the three card pull is by Sarah. An update on what we can expect from the virus this winter. So yeah, as you know, we're dealing with that uh, tridemic, right? You know, the RSV, that respiratory disease, along with the flu, along with the virus, which I'm not going to say the name, but you know what I'm talking about. And it's going to be an issue. And we can already tell that it's affecting children. I think it's really going to depend on what part of the world you live in. So I think if you're in certain parts of Asia, particularly China, uh, I also get something with Russia. And I'm picking up something with the Middle East, too. Like, they're really going to have a tough, tough time uh, where they do, like, full quarantines and lockdowns. And I don't see us doing the full lockdowns and all that again. I don't. So, Sarah, let me pick a few cards to look at, and, and I have to be kind of specific when I do this, because uh, I can't look at every country because it, it won't work. I'm going to look at the US, Canada, and the UK. All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm leaving it at those, those regions, okay? And I do think the UK may get it a bit worse. But once again, nothing that's going to stop life. You, you know what I mean? Like, you, not day-to-day -day life, I mean. Okay. So we get the Queen of Pentacles. You know, she is very motherly. She's nurturing. She's grounded. She's down to earth. And she's also a card of good health. Because pentacles, you know, we always think of pentacles as just being money, but pentacles also represent the physical, including the human body. So that's really nice um, that we got that. And a lot of you asked when I did that little fun game in the community tab, and I did the little slivers of the cards, and can you name it? Everyone was like, what does the bunny mean? The bunny talks about uh, fertility. So bunnies represent fertility in tarot. The obstacle is we are going to be reaping what we've sown. You know, this is a pandemic. Um, a lot of people aren't going to want to do the right thing. You know, sometimes we do have to stay in. Sometimes we do need to wear a mask, things like that. Some people aren't really going to want to do that. And we are going to have to come up with new thoughts and new strategies. But this also tells me that the science community is going to be right there. You know, and there's going to be a lot said spoken, if you will, um, and written about this. Lots of like literature and talks. So this isn't something that's going to be brushed aside. This pandemic is going to be addressed. However, it is going to affect children. Pages are 
um, uh, you know, children in tarot. So just keep that in mind if you have little ones that we need to be extra, extra cautious with them, right? So let's do this three card pull. This is a yes, no deal with something little extra thrown in there to throw you off. Um, so ask spirit, creator, your guides, your angels about a situation that would be a yes or a no. Should I? Will I? Take a deep breath, center yourself, and are you drawn to card one, two, or three? Go with your gut. Here we go. Card one, no. Card two, reconsider. Give it some more thought, okay? And then card three, yes. Go for it. So I hope that this was helpful. It was a pleasure making this video and I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Bye everyone.